hello and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Speed Stars. Your response to last week's show premiere has been really awesome. So we really do appreciate all of the feedback we have received through our various social media platforms. Right, let's get on to this week's show. Both of our stars are used to wearing the crown, but there's no room for a crown when you're wearing a helmet. Will they know how to avoid dangerous situations out on the road? And more importantly, who's going to emerge as Miss Racetrack? Only time will tell. Let's take a look. Santanides, Melinda Bam, <laughs> lovely to have you on Speed Stars. A lot of nervous giggling after watching that promo. Yes. Why? I more about the bleeping than anything else. <laughs> Listen, we, we've made you wear helmets. Now we're getting you blown around on a set. Luckily, we all know how beautiful you are. But I, I want to talk before we get into cars. You know, everyone says, yeah, oh, you know, world peace, Bob. You know, that's the usual thing with beauty queens. But the two of you have done so much more than that. I mean, Catherine, you've just had the 21 icons that's, that you've been featured as. Brilliant work that you do through Miss Earth, they say. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think if people say, what do you do? I don't think I say, oh, I was Miss Earth. Mm. You know, for me, it's really, I'm a climate activist. I do humanitarian work across the continent and I'm really passionate about the development of Africa. So mm. that's sort of my focus area and where I'm passionate. Um, I'm not that comfortable in a car, I'm more comfortable in a food garden or, <laughs> or planting trees or saving a rhino, things like that. But it was really, really such an awesome experience. But what I'm thinking is after this, maybe you're going to start pushing to get people to be better drivers on our roads because that's still a real big, a real big issue it's for us. It's a huge issue. Yeah. Road safety in this country is of huge concern and I think every festive period we see these very high numbers of fatalities on our road and these are things we need to curb so yeah. road safety needs to be at the core and at the forefront mm. of that 47 people die on our road every single day yeah. this is something we have to it's crazy Melinda you don't get bigger than Miss South Africa a lot of responsibility that comes with wearing that crown but maybe even more so afterwards in yeah, terms of what, what you do with your career saw a different side of you filming this show. I mean, you look like you're quite comfortable in a car. I am quite comfortable in a car, but um, I must say the, the biggest benefit of, of doing this show in particular was that it really hit home to me. Um, my father-in-law was in a, in a very big car accident just the weekend before we shot the show. Yeah. And um, to me, it really hit home just to be able to say, okay, I'm taking the responsibility to be vigilant on the road, to know how to be safe, uh, to know how to not only be concerned about my own safety on the road, but the safety of other drivers as well. And I think that's a responsibility is something that every single driver and every single citizen should be attentive to. And I think being a Miss South Africa, people see the one side of you, they see the prim and proper and all of that. But I think a Miss South Africa that really has an impact is someone that is real, that sometimes shows their flaws and, and shows shows their, their the nervous twerks <laughs> but I, I think people get to experience that with uh, hopefully some endearment as well <laughs> but I, I, you know just from my side that that's why we've we paired the two of you together because yeah fantastic to look at so that makes for great TV let's be <laughs> honest but but it's also really cool because you do so much more and I think we want to get that road safety message out there as well and talking about road safety I mean you've heard them talking about racing now any racing driver is going to tell you if you want to go fast you've got to be able to stop just as quickly to that extent obviously having a strong and reliable braking system is super important as is having a powerful engine but the key thing here is learning how to use your brakes swiftly and safely is a skill set that not only racing drivers need to master let's Let's have a look at today's safety tip. <laughs> Turning our stars into speed stars were two of the best. Multiple production car and touring car champion both locally and abroad, Mike Briggs dominated racing in the sports glory days here in South Africa. Chop Sapuka changed the face of motorsport in our country and at the same time rewrote the record books in the fiercely competitive world of production car racing. 
Our stars were transferred from the luxury of the Fairway Hotel to our test facility at Swartkops Raceway for a practical demonstration of just how speed impacts braking distances. Okay guys, this first exercise is a very simple one that, that they often show and it's just really a demonstration to show how much or how little people know about where their cars can stop. You know, we all drive around and we see the 60k sign and do you know how, how far you will be able to stop the car? So what we're going to do, we're going to send this car. Now I must warn you, this car's firstly got the biggest brakes and the biggest Michelin tires I've ever seen. Alright, so what we'll do is we're just going to do a quick demo. The first one is going to be, it's going to come along at 40k's now. So really slow, the kind of speed you're going down your suburban street. And when he gets to these Michelin markers, he's going to climb on the brakes as hard as he can. The car's got ABS and we'll see where it'll stop. Use that as a, as a judgment. Then next time round, he's going to go at 60 k's an hour. And what we'll want, ask you to do then is, is to stand along the road where you think he'll stop. So pick the stopping point. So have a good look at 40. Then next time around, I'll talk to you again. And, and, and at 60, you, you tell me where you think he'd stop. We're going to let you stand on the side. We were going to let you stand in front. But if you get it wrong, it's, I mean, we've still got a lot of filming to do for that. So, all right. So after the 40 km an hour demo, it was time for our stars to predict where the OPC would stop at 60. Everyone made their selection. Hey. Ready? Confirmed this is 60. This is 60. Confirmed at 60 k's an hour. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> yes, boy T. Lots of reason to celebrate because you are alive. Now you're going to get this right when we do 120. It's going to be double the speed now. Yes. This is important that the girls are winning these things, okay? Okay. Because all the guys think they know it all. Mm -hmm. Girl power. So that's right, doubling the speed now to our national speed limit of 120 kilometers an hour. So does double the speed mean double the stopping distance? Well, Kurt seems really confident. The rest are not so sure. Probably more, to be honest. Yeah, I reckon the, no, the momentum. Rest in peace, Kurt, Tumi, Catherine, Sonani, Boiti, we are going to miss you. So stopping distances increase exponentially with speed. 60 kilometers an hour, it will take you about 36 meters to stop. At 120 k's an hour, it's more than a rugby field. I've seen one of these tests before, yeah. and it's a hell of a lot further than people think. Like 60 up to 120 is it's an entirely different ball game. I'm kind of, are you trying to read his mind in terms of where he's going to stop? No, I paid him and he let me down. <laughs> Oh, it's just too short. Look, the nice thing is Rob's probably got bruised knees because the car pretty much stopped on the mark. You were safe, very, very close. 160. Is the car going to stop before the end of the track? Now, use your um, mental powers. <clears throat> it will stop where I want it to stop. <laughs> I, I think it's going to be a lot further again than what we really think. I think what was a real eye-opener for our guests was seeing that speed rush of what 160 kilometers an hour looks like when you're standing on the side of the road. This test was conducted with tires, brakes and the road surface in perfect condition. Change any one of those factors, add passengers to the car and stopping distances will increase. So to recap, no matter how good you think your reactions are, don't tailgate. Keeping at least a three second gap to the car in front of you is going to give you a chance to stop. It will save your life. I think we have absolutely no idea the power of speed on the roads and this is proof that we actually are just not careful enough. So we had to have fun, we had to go fast, but obviously as you have experienced, we had to teach you to be better drivers as well. Catherine, you seem quite blown away by that stopping test in particular. You don't realise the power of speed and how speed does in fact kill. Yeah. I think for me that was such a, a mind-blowing experiment that we did as well as the texting and driving. <laughs> how many of us pick up a phone oh, to guilty. text and drive? Guilty we're bad. all guilty of it. Mm. But we don't realise that we're not just endangering our own lives, there are other lives on the road that we're endangering. It comes back to being good citizens. but. You know, M Melinda, that stopping thing is one thing, but also to stand on the side of a road, like we were crazy doing that 160, yeah. to stand there and see what 160 looks like yeah. or feels like, because yes. you're insulated in your car. Yeah. What, 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 was, what was a big take home for you from a safety perspective? In a competing environment like this, we all want to win, so we're all quite pessimistic about the distance, but when our lives actually depend on it, we think, oh no, I'll be able to stop in between 10 or 20 meters, yeah. but now, 
I think it just puts it back into perspective and I think with attraction and ABS that is something that really rewarded me in the sense that I, I've got more confidence with what a vehicle can actually yeah. do. In terms of when something happens and when it goes horribly wrong, yeah. you can actually have the confidence to say, you know, I can control the situation, I can uh, veer out for a, a person in the road or for an obstacle and I think that gave me a little bit of peace of mind just to know, you know what, if something happens I know what to do now. Well, I mean, th that's the key for us with Speed Stars. I think, you know, we have licenses, but we've never done this. We've never mm. experienced it. And you experience it when you're having an accident. Yeah. So I'm hoping that out of this, you are going to be more confident when you head out onto the roads. But thanks for your, for your safety support and comments. It's been great. Now, remember, you can let us know what you think and, of course, interact with all of the Speed Stars contestants by social media. And uh, that is at Speed Stars SA. So please do keep in touch. Stay tuned. After the commercial break, we find out which of our two guests are going to take the and who is going to leave Swarkops as first princess? <laughs> watching Speed Stars. Hello and welcome back to this week's show. It's time now to hand Melinda and Catherine over to our own two race aces to give them some critical tips on how to tackle Swartkops. Guys, this is the part of the day where it starts to get fun now. Having seen what you can and what some of you can't do, we're actually going to let you loose on the racing track now. The whole thing about today is, is obviously safety first. So we just want to make sure that everybody drives within their limits. And some of the limits aren't as high as we, we had hoped, but anyway. <laughs> Power. Try this, don't break. Take your feet away from the pedals. Come left, no break. Look and turn, 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 turn. <laughs> break. Hard on the brakes. Don't turn in yet. Off the brakes. Turn in now. Slowly off the brakes. Same as John, remember I said? Slowly off the brakes. Ah, uh, sure. Okay. But that was a good line. Just came in a little bit fast. Get to that street lap. Now, drive it out. On that lap, you were that much faster. <laughs> brakes, third gear, more brakes, more brakes. Too much, a little bit too much speed. Open the steering. So where you look, you're gonna go. Okay. So if I'm looking at that sign, I'm not gonna see what's happening here. Down to third. Off the clutch, just let it go. Again, yes. And you even change your hands position, I like that. You stop yourself from going from the inside. Now it's nice, soft hands. Looking through the corner. Keep it tight. And then smooth throttle through the corner. Keep accelerating the whole way through. Keep accelerating. Harder, 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 harder. There we go. Slowly on the gas, slowly on the gas. I've got you, I've got you. Start again. Look at that. Why do I keep my clutching? <laughs> That's a bad habit. It is a very bad habit, <laughs> I know. Keep the clutching. No. So safety's out the way now. Now we want you to go as far as, fast as possible. Have you been on a track before, either of you? Been, but quite a while back but on an A1 so you're quite low in the road and feel yep. like you're in a go-kart but this is a completely different experience this is like <laughs> this made me get back into my own car and feel like I'm going 20 on the highway because we went so fast I hope you day. were going 20 on the highway Catherine for uh, you never been you on a racetrack something? I learned so much the problem is that this is something that's really addictive <laughs> so yes. I got into my own car and I was like oh 
how boring is it to just drive on a normal road in a normal car? This was something that was quite addictive and quite exciting. Um, never done anything like this before, but learned so much, you know, from the tires and the traction on the road. And, you know, I, I just feel so much more confident in a car. It's something I wish every driver could actually experience. Well, that, that's what we want to try and get to eventually. But uh, you were the lucky two that got yeah. to experience it. <laughs> I'm going to get into your, your hot lap but before we even look at it. <laughs> Melinda Bam. Lots of energy, feisty, a speed freak. I mean, you wanted to drive me back to the pits right in the beginning of the day. I thought, oh, yeah, 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 here comes a long day. How do you think you did? I think I did reasonably well. I think I did everything that I wouldn't dare to do on our actual roads, which yeah, to me was rewarding enough. I mean, it was an exhilarating experience just to be able to say, okay, instead of slowing down for a corner, I'm going to speed up for the corner and just like well, push myself to the limit. And I had. The most incredible time in that car. I think even my warm up lap and my cool down lap to me was a hot lap. So I really made the most of this moment. She, she wasn't joking. I said, Melinda, slow down on your prep lap, burn it on your hot lap. You'll see what I mean. Let's have a look at Melinda Bam setting a hot lap time on Speed Stars. Let's take a look. I can still talk. Jose. The green cones. Turn in on the green cone. Break. Flip on the green cone. On the third. Take the corner. Okay. okay. Safety first. Do it. Yeah, hey, good luck, Melinda. That's a good start, Melinda. No, it was good. How was that pressure with the red lights on, though? No, no, that was fine. Oh, please. Easy for her. I'm loving oh, the. So silent. I'm loving the concentrate. I, I want to know. Is that focus? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you start talking. <laughs> do you do this when you drive on the public roads? In general, I talk to myself. <laughs> Not just when I'm Get your coat. Get your coat. Go. 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 Michael's going to be pressed half throttle, full throttle. I think my coach is proud. <laughs> Up the hill. Change it to third. Break, break, break. Two. Get your corner. Get your corner. Drive it up. Nicely, nicely, nicely. Break a little bit. Two. Corner. Take it. Take it. excited about this hot lap than winning the crown. <laughs> this is an adrenaline rush. I've never felt anything like this before. Hands out. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I love yeah. seeing the shake. <laughs> you weren't kidding. You did go again. Yes, I did. <laughs> Think your second lap was quicker? Maybe. Okay, <laughs> Melinda, yes. have a look at this board. I know you're the second show. There are a lot of names up here. Mm. Who in particular would you want to beat? Obviously, there's a rivalry between you and Everyone. Catherine. Everyone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. So, said, how do you I think you did? John Smith in his practice run, and that to me was probably a bigger adrenaline rush than I've ever been in anyone's car. So, and I'm not going to beat him. Hey, but you know, it's also different when you're a passenger. Yeah, most probably yeah. right. Okay, so I want to beat our first two ladies. Okay. And I'd love to beat Jeannie. Okay. Well, yes. what I, well, what I'm going to... Well, because he's just so incredibly competitive. Okay, well, what I'm going to start doing... Is, it, is this exciting you? Because yes. you see I'm moving names down here. Yes. One more. Yes! <laughs> so, Melinda, you have set a lap time of a 1 minute 28.45. Wow. So that puts you at the top of the Speed Stars leaderboard. Are you happy with that? frame that moment, because I know it might not last long. And it's on TV. Yes. Well done. Very, very nice. Well done. Um, Catherine? Yes. 
deep breath. Ready to see how you did on your hot lap. Let's do it. South Africa, this is Catherine Constantinides. <laughs> She's all for changing Earth and being better citizens, but for a couple of moments on a racetrack, she was wild. <laughs> To ensure a level playing field, the guys from Force Fuel were on hand to top up the OPC's tank after every hot lap. In addition, we asked Chops to set benchmark times throughout the day to account for changing environmental factors like temperature and wind speed. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Lots of good instruction, now you just get to do it on your own. They're keen to change. Uh. <laughs> is that nervous laughter? Yeah. <laughs> Second yes. Can I go? Is that? That's it. Look out, look out. I'm noticing it's something the girls do. They talk to themselves. This sounds quite painful for you, Catherine. <laughs> What's going through your mind? Just don't going, faint. going at the speed I needed to get to that corner. <laughs> I was so scared of rolling the car. That was my biggest not, fear. What can happen? It's a good thing, it means you don't normally drive excessively fast if you were worried on a nice open track. Okay, slow down. Slow down. As you come out. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. I'm, I'm trying to figure out these emotions because it sounded like you were in pain at some stage and then there was this sheer joy and was it like a really massive adrenaline rush for you and sense of relief to complete a lap? Yes, it was. And I think to, to remember all the points and what you need to look for and when you need to change gears, I think that was the biggest thing. So trying to remember all these things at the same time going the speed that you were going and, and trying to, to make sure that you go the best speed you mm. can go, all of those things were going on at the same time. So I think I was really nervous Hence the giggles. Well, <laughs> luckily, luckily girls are good. They, they listen, they and pay attention, and you talk it. yourselves through it. Mm. Looking at the leaderboard, where do you want to be? After seeing Melinda's, I'm like, she is so, such a pro. So if I could get near, you know, the worst, worst comes to worst, I'm okay, well, let's, false, well, let's, so. let, well, let's, let's start, let's start <laughs> moving things. So that, that, that's positive. Yes. Okay. You're quicker than Boiti. Are you that's quicker? Impressive. Are you quicker than Lala? Look, I didn't see Lala at all, so I have no idea. I'd like to think I could be. You weren't. Ah, uh, not Catherine bad. Catherine Constantinides, the world is going to love you, the environment, because you obviously drive very efficiently. A 139.26, okay. you're okay. not lost. I'm not lost. I, the worst I could have been fourth on this list. So we're good here. <laughs> Congratulations, well done. Thank you. <laughs> so obviously that makes Melinda our winner in this very little battle. Very good. Well done. Stoked? <laughs> Just because it's an adrenaline rush, and I actually just want to go do it again. I want to get like at a 26 something. Oh my word. <laughs> In the next installment of Speed Stars, can Mind Power help Gilan Gork to set a quick lap time, or will Larry Sofa find a kind of magic around Swartkops? Join us again next week to find out, but until then, please keep it safe on our roads. Oh, you yeah. actually feel where the clutch is taking you. On the brakes. Um. <laughs> <laughs>
It will stop where I want it to stop. <laughs> Don't want to lose control of the... A lot of trust. <laughs> yeah.